Uh, last session, uh, very quick recap, you were ambushed by monkeys in uniforms with wings, and uh, you mostly uh, smashed, the, smashed the, uh, the crap out of them, as I recall. Um, uh, although one did escape and disappear off into the wasteland around uh, away from you. Um, uh, I did just uh, add three slightly broken flying monkey backpacks to uh, Lyca's character sheet. Um, although I don't think you have to wait for me to do those sort of things. Um, uh, perhaps at some point she'll get them working because I, I understand she's a bit of a mechanical tinkerer, so who knows. Um, uh, I would like uh, anyone who is interested and feels like they might their character might want to do so to roll a conspiracy check to think about monkeys. Um, yes, and I um, also thought about what you said about quests just for... Oh, okay. Okay, so I've got a Ooh, plus okay. eight. Wait, no, am I plus eight? No, I'm plus eight on athletics. My conspiracy... Talk me through it. Plus what 30. do I roll? So you would roll a d20 and add whatever your uh, bonus for conspiracy is. Yeah, that final number on the row there. Ah. I'll do it too, because I have an eight. Okay, that sounds good. <laughs> good, I have a bonus. Without the bonus, that was a two. With a bonus, that's a twelve. Oh my god. A twelve. You have a well. ten in. Wow. And mine is a fourteen. And 14, I yeah. have a reasonable bonus in conspiracy. However, my roll is wretched, and I end up with a total of five. Total of five. Well, so this wasn't a particularly um, a particularly challenging um, uh, knowledge sort of a roll. So um, a 12 and a 14 will allow either or both of you to um, uh, slightly, uh, I don't know what you would say, statues play to um, Okma. Uh, that these uh, uniform-wearing monkeys are very clearly uh, Bonapartists, part of the army of mutant animals who are uh, mutant animal supremacists. Um, <laughs> so I might have said something like, gee, I wonder what that was all about. And then somebody mm -hmm. chimes in with, well, they were Bonapartists, obviously. So, obviously. Okay. Um, and the other thing you, you will know uh, as... Um, uh, sort of more local knowledge because the uh, the army of um, the Bonapartists are uh, uh, big and spread across various areas. The local um, I don't know if they call themselves a regiment, but the local local ones uh, are also uh, involved with the floating market where you were travelling to uh, right. last session. Right. Um, and uh, well, so their um, local commander. Uh, is one of the, uh, uh, what did I say were called, um, uh, ombouds, uh, who are responsible for maintaining the safety and organizing the market. Right. So, uh, I'm calling my quest. Okay. So whichever Go one or both of you who explains all this to me, uh, I'm going to say, well, I think I'm making it my business to know why the people who apparently are making this market happen are also the people who are harassing innocent merchant, you know. What? I can give you a quick and easy answer to that, actually, I chime in. Most likely it has to do with the fact that Bonapartists hate anything that looks uh, too human. Well, then why are they involved with the open market? That doesn't make any sense at all. I'm calling nonsense, and I'm going to go and figure this out. That's my plan. That seems very sensible. That's 100 that experience points, I'm calling. That one's mine. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, okay, that sounds fair. They want to take it away from us. Steal our so, lands. <laughs> so, you don't have um, any and, lands. You came out of a jar. I, I was probably both of you. <laughs> uh, quick digression, in case anyone uh, isn't unfamiliar with the, the quest rule. Basically, um, uh, if you declare something that you your character wants to achieve as a quest, and there might be uh, 
adventure level quests which would apply to all of your characters uh, or not. Um, and then you work and achieve meeting that quest in some way you get an XP bonus it's usually based on the uh, uh, it basically fits into the same XP calculation system which I won't go into now because you know, I need to maybe wish on about that uh, but this quest would be worth uh, once Okma finds out uh, the reason for this happening, uh, he would get his 100 XP bonus on top of any XP he earned finding out, like, I don't know, beating up more flying monkeys to question them about it. And a good way of looking at it is the more we say we want to do things and work after doing them, mm -hmm. the quicker we level up. It takes less experience points and to get to the next level because we're beefing mm -hmm. it up with these quest points. So it's basically mm -hmm. a built into the system to be proactive about what your character wants mm -hmm. and to go after it. I am also very happy for you to introduce content by saying, "I would, are my character is interested in doing X. Maybe it had not occurred to me at all. And if that seems like it's a, a, a thing that could be happening in the local area, uh, you can have a quest to do that thing. So. Unless, of um, course, the quest is to find out that it's all bullshit and nothing's going on whatsoever. Well, that happens. I bet. It might be a quest, but it might not be a quest you can find right. out. To. Um, <laughs> exactly. Depending. So, for example, if uh, Geiger has any specific quests, uh, there certainly seems to be an implied one to do with finding uh, technological mice in the coloring book. Uh, that might be something that turns into a quest at some point, for example. And you're very welcome to. Come up with your own content for those sort of things if you, if you um, are inspired to tell me the sorts of things that your characters want to do. I actually um, like that quest. Unlock the secret of the it. sacred coloring book. Yeah, I'll take that. I want it. It's so... Okay. It's it's possible that quest might be worth more than 100 XP. I will Remotely think about it. possible we get some kind of answer to that someday. Well... <laughs> The one and only thing I want to do is to get flying. Mm. Prefer oh, well. all right. Preferably get all of us flying, so I'm not really sure what about Ahmed. Uh, that may be a little weight we'll problem there. I don't really know. I mean, maybe it'll take two of them. We'll find out. But, uh, but, but we yeah. only have three, and we don't even know which parts are missing. Oh, well, Ahmed. Get to work rocket. clicking away in the back seat, in the back of the truck there. You go right ahead and Yes. Work on him. His rocket's propelled, anyways. So, <laughs> so um, right. uh, if you would like to, uh, I, I imagine after gathering up backpacks and thinking about and having a uh, discussion about um, uh, Bonapartist monkeys, uh, I imagine you might carry on your way to the market. Pulled by the ever steadfast Okma, dragging the truck along. Um, uh, I can tell you that um, at some point uh, you will have to come away from the side of the stream as it becomes a bigger river, fills the riverbed, and you have to take some of the broken tracks that perhaps once were roads in the local area, but eventually you find yourselves on the outskirts of. Um, uh, what people will, will assume must have been a city, uh, much of it destroyed and devastated by the catechisms of a hundred and however many years ago. Uh, uh, but somewhere in the heart of this is the river and the location of the, the floating market. Um, uh, I am inclined to cut to you get to the market having been intercepted by some more uh, uniform wearing animals, a badder and a hoop. Oh, I'm going to hide those uh, backpacks, flying backpacks, before we get too close to the market. That seems a sensible course of action. A little bit um, uh, reluctantly because I was all the time trying to figure out how they work. Uh, your 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 caution is sensible, but I wouldn't worry too much. The uh, the uh, animal. Uh, Bonapartists don't pay a huge amount of attention to you. They are mainly interested in uh, arguing with you and between themselves as to why the floating market is sometimes called a hoopis uh, or hoppis. They they can't agree uh, uh, whether it is to do with um, it's often full of hoops, which are 
use of rabbits with a bad attitude. Uh, and it's the hoppiest because there's lots of them and people potentially at the markets all get together and breed like uh, hoops. Or because everyone gets together and exchange all their fleas and other interesting parasites and they hop from one person to another. But uh, you have therefore been warned about the like like the levels of san sanitation at this market. Uh, but they don't do pay otherwise pay you much attention if they weigh you on. Uh, apparently deciding you're not dangerous enough to worry. About. Hmm. Um, unless you want to stop and talk to them all. No, I, I might want to stop a little bit and say. Pardon me for interrupting. Mm -hmm. Are there members of your brigade or regiment or whatever who are uh, maybe taking matters into their own hands and practicing a little bit of... Uh, they're not really... Hmm... They're not really <clears throat> contributing to the peace and harmony of the open market for all. That seems like a thing you can ask. Uh, let's make this an interaction. Uh, so you need to roll a d20 and yeah, add your interaction skill uh, to see how well you get on with these creatures. With my what skill? Um, uh, interaction. Hmm. I quite like that as a skill, but I have to admit, oh, well, I don't absolutely, I'm not wretched at it. There's no minus involved here. No great shakes, except that my I rolled exactly the same number as I did last time. I roll a total with bonus of three. Ah. Oh. Hold okay. on. Have you rolled a one? I did not roll a one. Okay. I, was, I am aware of all the, the significance of rolling a one, but I would I would say so. No, my total is three. It is a legitimate three. The worst thing I okay. could have rolled without fumbling, basically. The uh, the hoop, which is, as I said, a, a mutant bunny with a bad attitude, uh, gets right in your face. He's not happy at uh, people impugning the honor of the regiment, uh, which he tells you, uh, possibly using slightly more swear words than that. Um, I don't know how familiar you are with hoop swear words, so perhaps. I think I just got a lot more familiar thing. with them. Um, but he, uh, uh, he is, uh, he's insist. he starts showing how the, how the, uh, the witch wouldn't stand for anything like that. The witch is, rules the roost, the witch is, is, uh, uh, thank you. Thank you. All hail the Bonapartist Brigade. Uh, I, uh, I think, uh, uh, surprising everybody, the badder, who is a badger with an equally bad attitude, uh, manages to prevent the hoop from getting any more violent with you. So if you want to uh, move on, no, uh, yeah, no, before, no. Things, before things sound nasty, you're welcome to do that. Yeah. Um, uh, I might give them names and see if they pop up again later. Um, okay. I suppose we should um, rename it. I mean, after we're out of earshot, at least I hope so, due to those, you know, rabbit ears. Um, mm -hmm. I'll mention to my companions that we might rename it the uh, smelly, furry, bigoted brigade, you know, market rather than the open market. <laughs> I absolutely agree with that. Under yeah. the animals, barely sanctioned. We probably should stick together mm. while we are here. Mm. Yeah. Yes, it would be a terrible idea to split up. Let's do that. Oh, um, uh, you can follow the the bits of road which have been at some point cleared and, and made at least vaguely passable that take you down to the riverside. Uh, the uh, river is genuinely more of a river than the. A nice irradiated stream you were following previously. Um, uh, so much so that uh, uh, you can see floating out uh, in the river a relatively large uh, ship of some description. 